When you transform a layer, you also stretch the contents of the image. Holding shift can keep your layer from stretching. But if you want to resize a landscape photo to fit this 9 by 16 portrait aspect ratio and keep both of the important visual elements in the photo, you will need to use a technique that allows you to resize an image without stretching it. Let me show you how to do that. First, duplicate the layer to work non-destructively. I'll disable the background layer. Then go into the edit menu and choose content aware scale. The content aware scale allows you to scale an image while protecting important visual information like people, buildings, cars, animals, and things of that nature. However, if you push this a little too far, you'll notice that Photoshop will start contracting the wrong pixels and the image doesn't look very good. So we need to tell Photoshop what pixels to protect. To do so, you need to make a selection. You can use any tool you want. I'll use the lasso tool and freehand a selection around the woman in the red dress. Then I'll hold shift Click and drag a selection around the Eiffel Tower because it's also one of the important visual elements of this photo. I'll get a little bit of the bridge and the areas down here as well. Then go into the select menu and choose save selection. From here, you can give the selection any name you want. I'll call mine woman and tower. And the selection is now saved. You can deselect and now we'll crop the image into the nine by 16 aspect ratio. You can do so by selecting 16 by nine and then clicking on the double sided arrows here to swap those. And now we have our portrait crop, but it's very important to make sure that you unselect delete crop pixels. We don't want to delete any pixels, commit the changes. And now when you go into the content over scale, you'll see that in the options bar, you'll have an option under protect which is the save selection. There it is. I'll select it. And now when I scale, you'll notice that Photoshop will not distort the woman or the Eiffel Tower. And you can have the two most important visual elements in this version of the photo. In some cases, you may need a little extra work. For example, the ground here doesn't look too good, but that's very easy to fix. All you need to do is enable the original image and with the polygonal lasso tool, select the ground and press Ctrl J to copy and paste in a new layer, drag that layer up, and with the move tool, place this layer into position.